Questions are everywhere about when and how student loan debt will be forgiven following the president's plan to knock off thousands of dollars for millions of Americans. It is the big story of the week and WDRB's Dalton Godby explains what you can expect and why it could take some time. Stuff that I do, there's some... In his Sellersburg you know, apartment... You gotta just be grateful for it. T.J. Fraley's work-from-home job as an accountant is barely enough to get by. We're out on our own and we live... Paycheck to paycheck. The IUS debt free then graduate once pursued there. a graduate Four, degree so to become a CPA. One year in. 8500 for just one year of grad school. The debt piled on, and his priorities turned to taking care of his elderly grandparents. Basically, life put school on the back burner. Despite you know, never getting that graduate degree, a $200 per month loan payment became crippling. Our approach to help Americans who need it the most was necessary. But the president's plan means Fraley doesn't owe another dollar. We're having to deal with all sorts of individual situations that we just don't have clarity on just yet. Here's the problem. Aaron Clare with Kentucky Higher Education Assistance Authority, which distributes loans, says there are a lot of unknowns about the plan. It would forgive $10,000 for borrowers making less than $125,000 a year and up to $20,000 for people who took out Pell Grants. That could take time. There's going to be a small form that people will have to attest you know, maybe sometime in September um, as to whether or not they qualify. Anyone who had loans dispersed before July 21st of this year qualifies, even current students whose parents make less than $250,000. Experts think forgiveness will begin when the payment pause ends in December. Legal issues could change that. I do think that somebody somewhere is going to challenge this in court and it may delay it even further. If it somehow gets held up in the courts or somehow this doesn't get, then me and my wife will have to make a contingency plan of how we come up with it. Back inside T.J. Fraley's apartment, there is fear but hope that this plan becomes reality, giving many students, much like Fraley, who never finished a degree, another opportunity. The future is looking brighter now that that would be taken away because you have more money, really. Dalton Godby, WDRB News.